Russian military suffers major setback as faulty bearings ground a quarter of IL-76MD-90A fleet. The use of low-quality wheel bearings has disabled and suspended the operation of five IL-76MD-90A aircraft belonging to Russia's Ministry of Defense. Kremlin-aligned Russian newspaper Commerçant reported this. The main investigative department of Russia's investigative committee has opened a criminal case against the executives of the Balashika foundry and mechanical plant after the plant supplied low-quality bearings for the IL-76. Commerçant reported that the investigation revealed that Balashika foundry and mechanical plant purchased bearings from an unknown supplier using forged documents from 2017 to 2022. Vasny Istori Channel noted, citing open source data, that Russia's defense ministry was operating a total of 18 IL-76MD-90A aircraft by the end of 2023. They explained that wheels with sub-par bearings were directed to the Avia Star plant, which had an agreement with the Russian Ministry of Defense to produce 39 IL-76MD-90As by 2018. Due to the inability to fulfill the original contract, the terms were amended and the updated agreement scheduled 13 planes for delivery by 2021 and another 12 by 2028. According to UIA online media outlet, the IL-76MD-90A is a deeply modernized iteration of the IL-76 aircraft featuring lighter wings, a new engine from ODK Perm Motors, an updated navigation system and reinforced landing gear. Analytical portal Oryx provides an account of the number of IL-76 aircraft lost by Russian forces since the beginning of the conflict. In a separate incident, a Russian IL-76 disintegrated during takeoff at the Severny airfield in March 2024, resulting in the death of all 14 crew members due to an alleged engine fire. On July the 18th, a military analyst updated the status of operational aircraft in the Russian armed forces, indicating approximately 850 active. Meanwhile, Stratcom AFU shared a map detailing the destruction of Russian aircraft in the first months of 2024. Zelensky risks political suicide in case of concessions to Russia, Kyiv Mayor Klitschko. Kyiv Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said in an interview that President Volodymyr Zelensky will likely need to hold a public referendum before agreeing to any territorial compromises with Russia. The statement follows a proposal by former U.S. President Donald Trump for a peace deal between Ukraine and Russia. As Trump's victory in the November 5th presidential election becomes more likely, efforts are underway to sway him to Ukraine's side and ensure that any potential deal is favorable to Kyiv. The next few months will be very difficult for Volodymyr Zelensky. Should he continue the war with new deaths and destruction or consider a territorial compromise with Putin? Klitschko said during an interview with the Italian newspaper Corriere della Sera. How can we explain to the country that we need to give up pieces of our territory that cost the lives of thousands of our fighting heroes? Whatever move he makes, our president risks political suicide. He said that Zelensky will probably need to resort to a referendum. I don't think he can reach such painful and important agreements on his own without popular legitimization, Klitschko added. Three quarters of Ukrainians were opposed to Ukraine making territorial concessions to Russia to reach a peace deal, according to a poll published in December by the Kyiv International Institute of Sociology, a slight decrease from the 84% who said were opposed in May 2023. In the same interview, Klitschko criticized Zelensky for concentrating power in his office and said Ukraine's parliament had been rendered irrelevant. Because elections are impossible, Klitschko pushed for the creation of a national unity government to avoid having all important choices relegated only to the president's office, but expressed doubt that Zelensky would be willing to give up any power to achieve this. Klitschko and Zelensky have been at odds since the president's first year in office. The conflict has played out in repeated investigations and attempts to remove the mayor from the Kyiv city state administration. 